How, how's it going? Hi, I'm fine. <clears throat> Go ahead. I know it's been a long night. Um, I think I stopped talking to you this morning. About, uh, I didn't go to bed till after three, and I think you were still up way after that. Um, can you give us any updates on what's going on? Um, I'm not, I'm making a lot of phone calls with um, different stories of different places where she posed to be, and a lot of people is under the impression that my son had been talking to her, and that's not the case. My son talked to her yesterday. Um, when she first ran and she called from some um, random number and we called the young lady back and the young lady said she just let a young lady use her phone. So for everybody who's under the impression that she have been found and somebody is talking to her, that is not the case. He was the last person to hear something from her, which was yesterday when she first ran. No one have heard or talked to her since. So we had a few leads and a few possibilities of people who may know her. We've contacted those leads. We've had um, certain people that say they didn't know her at all. And, and he, the person do know her because we have proof that he, that this person knows her. So um, I just need everybody help to keep sharing this post to keep sharing it, keep sharing it, to get it at least somewhere. I want, wherever she's at, I'm not saying that my child is in danger because I'm going to keep my faith because I want to believe that she's just running right now. So I want um, any mother that got a child that's laying in their house right now and you don't know who this child is or where she come from, ask questions. At, find out where this little girl is coming from. Find out where this little girl is at because she's she's somebody's child. She's somebody child who wants her or who's looking for her. We deal with a lot of parents these days that allow these kids to come over and spend a night and you don't even know them. You don't even know them. You don't ask questions. You don't check the background, nothing. And the way these videos and these pictures have been shared, I know someone has seen my baby. She's in somebody's house. She's somewhere and someone has seen her. Y'all just need to open up. I don't even need y'all to call me or I don't need y'all to say she here and so I can call the police. Call me and say she okay. That's all I want to hear. She breathing. She okay. She's not being sexually assaulted. She's not being drugged. Call me and tell me my baby is okay. That's all I want to know. If y'all just tell me she okay, I, I can probably walk away from this. Just let me know that she's okay. That's it. That's all I want to know. You can call me private, and I've been getting stupid-ass private calls talking about I got her and hanging up. Are y'all serious? I didn't put my number on Facebook so y'all can prank call me. I put my number on Facebook for help. So, and I, today was like the first day I was able to close my eyes. I was up and up and up and I had this headache so bad to where it was hurting in my face. So, I'm not in Chicago now, but I will be tomorrow. And... I'm going to put flyers up in Roseland. I'm going to do something. I don't like I said. She's running. Nobody took her. Nobody snatched her. She's running. But she's not from there. So she don't know nothing about Chicago. It's not Madison. It's totally different. It's not a small town where I can find you on one of these streets. So when I come tomorrow, I got to search the world because... Chicago is completely different from where she's from and what she knows. So I just need what, mothers, what's fathers. The what, 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 what's the laughing faces for? I'm sorry. I'm looking. We, uh, so I just need mothers and fathers 
to check y'all houses. Make sure this little girl ain't in y'all house. Make sure she's not there. And whoever is laughing, the joke's on you. It's not a funny situation. If it was your child or your sister, your family member, I don't think you would be laughing. I don't think this would be an opportunity for something funny or a joke. But I just want mothers and fathers, check your house. Find out if she posted this young lady where she's supposed to be at. Who how she's supposed to be at. I'm pretty sure she stayed with an adult. Well, you know, I just, want you also have... home. I just want somebody to call me and tell me she okay. That's it. And I was going to say, we also have um, Tony's page tag. So, I, you know, so a lot of the people that's on here will be her friends or could possibly even be someone that's on here that has information. I and really as, as young people, like it's they think, right, they think that it's funny as young people. I am almost more than sure. And we'll be able to see who's laughing after the video. But I'm almost more than sure that it's somebody either with a fake page or either it's someone, you know, a, a young person who just don't know any better. And maybe this is funny to them. So for those of you all, thank you. For those of you all that's throwing up the hearts, you know what? We can, we, it's enough people on here that know how serious this is to throw up hearts and to make those funny faces. Just like mom, just like you said, the joke is on them because this is serious and there's nothing funny about it. And one of the things I need everybody on here to do is to, to show some love for Tony because sometimes as a teenager, you get to a point to where when you don't have the right uh, people in your ear when you lose that connection with your loved ones that can tell you the right things about yourself. Like, Tony, you're beautiful. Not only are you beautiful, Tony, I've looked at your pictures. You're talented. You got a, a, a world ahead of you. And although the enemy may have you thinking that your back is up against the wall and that you you know when you look left you you it's nonsense when you look right you feel like it's nonsense just keep on pushing because you're right here at the at the tip of your breakthrough and if you keep on pushing tony don't give up i promise you you got a mom that's loving you you got a grandmother that's loving you you got family members and friends that's loving you this is going to pass this little episode that you're going through right now it will pass I promise you that it will pass. So just push on past it. Get back to your mom. Get back to your grandmother. Because I'm going to tell you something. You don't want to see either one of them hurt. And, and, and your mom, I know she didn't sleep last night because I left her up. Your grandmother is, and, and it didn't sleep. And, and, they, and they're, you know, putting themselves in harm's way with, um, with stress right now, stressing over you. And if you could at least just give them a call, give them a call and just That's say, hey, it. mom, here's my voice. I'm okay. I'll call you back when I need you. Just let them hear That's your it. voice and hang up. Or so whoever she with, just text me and say, she good. She right here. She's okay. Something. Let me, let me know that she's okay. That's all I care about right now. What she at, I don't care about. What she doing at the moment, I just need to know that she's okay. And safe. That's it. So, Tony, if, if you could do that, or if anybody on here that has her, if you could do that, if you know where she's at, just at least say, you know what? I know she's okay. I'm not going to give the information, but I physically saw her and I know that she's okay. Can you at least have a heart, please, and do that? And if you are a parent and you got somebody that's standing in your house, Find out who they are and why Why is it okay for them to just stay in your house? That's it. Because she don't know nobody up there. So you looking at right now just some random little girl that popped up out the blue because you've never seen her before. So just call me. Reach out. My number is posted again, but my number is not posted for the jokes. I've been getting crazy phone calls of I got her and hanging up on me. She with me and hanging up on me. 
So just please, if y'all know anything, I'm willing to listen to anything and everything. If, if anybody can tell you on this live, everybody that texts me or everybody that says something in my inbox, everybody that says something on the picture, I have been responding. I don't want to leave nobody out the loop. I'm going to respond. So I just need the help of social media to bring my baby home. Yeah, I, I'm and with Nita, you. Nita Sullivan, I feel the same way. Either that's, that's somebody that know that she's safe that's laughing because it can't be nobody that listening to this story right now and think it's funny. So it's somebody that knows she's safe. And I'm willing to also bet that they're connected to her on Facebook. That's it. That's it, Miss Vera. All right, Queen. Um, we're studying praying for you. I need all of the prayer warriors mm -hmm. on deck, every single prayer warrior. Please, let's lift this family up in prayer. Let's keep them lifted up in prayer. We know that no weapon that's formed against you is going to prosper. We know the word that says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy was going to come. That joy will come in the morning. And we're just going to have positive thoughts. Um, the last thing that I can say to Tony is that please just do us all this favor and reach out to your mom. You are such a beautiful young lady, and I'm going to tell you something. You've made national attention. So if you've ever had a dream of becoming an actor, becoming a, um, a, a star, singing, dancing, whatever it is, this now is a great opportunity for you. Don't throw it in. Do not be afraid. Do not be fearful of anything. This is your time. This is your moment. The spotlight is on you. And you got so many people that can't wait to see your beautiful face. That cannot wait to hear your voice. So just do us this one little favor right now until you're ready. Reach out to your mom. Reach out to your grandmother. And just say, this is me. I'm okay. I talk to you guys when I'm ready. That's it. Call Carla. She, she called. You got her number. Call her. You trust her. Call Carla and tell Carla you're okay. Call Don Don. Call somebody and just tell them that you're okay. That's it. That's all I want to know. Yeah. All right. Um, that's it. Thank you. And then you know what? I'm going to throw the toll-free number out here for missing. Please come home for any extra tips. Um, if you guys just want to call an 800 number, it's 888 788 I always forget this number um 888 788 888-788-1578 888-788-1578 that's the number all right so i'm already getting Inbox messages and everything that's coming to me now. I got pictures and stuff coming. Somebody, I, I inboxed you, Vera. Okay, so I see these messages coming in. Um, Mom, I'll get out and I'll share with you all of the information I have. And my partner, Martin G. Johnson, um, if you guys don't know who he is, he's the crime chaser. Please make sure that you guys uh, tune in with uh, Martin G. Johnson. And yes, I see all of the photos and all of your messages coming in. I'm going to get off and me and the mom is going to be talking to you guys and going through all of these tips that's coming in. Thank you, guys. I'm done, mom. I have nothing else to say unless you do. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a great one, you guys. We're out of here.